The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I'm proud to yield three minutes to the, uh, the first Ukrainian-born member of the United States Congress, the gentlelady from Indiana, Mrs. Sparks. The gentlewoman from Indiana is recognized. Thank you. Madam Speaker, um, I rise in support of the suspended normal trade relations with Russia and Belarus Act. And it's very important to highlight here that we do include Belarus in this act. Unfortunately, under leadership of President Lukashenko, Belarus allowed Russians to place ballistic rockets and shell fellow Slavs, Orthodox Christians in Ukraine for weeks. People of Belarus need to understand that their leader is part of what is happening in this genocide in Ukraine. And we cannot create a loophole where Putin is going to use Belarus to funnel money through them. That is a very important legislation also to send a message to Putin and his allies that the West is serious. It's not a temporary thing. They cannot just go kill a bunch of people, destroy cities, kill women and children, and then go back and have business as usual. Congress is sending a very strong message. If they want to have peace, it better be soon, and they better get to the table and stop this insanity and killing of the Ukrainian people. I also want to share some of the concerns that Congressman shared regarding the uh, Global Magnitsky Human Rights Accountability Act. I think I concur with him that these definitions have to be tightened and brought in this definition was given too much power to executive branch. It's not what Congress should do because every time we give too much power, we are not able to have effectively our oversight functions. So I urge my colleagues to support this important legislation, but also work with the Senate to make sure that we can fix some concern. And I am very appreciative that we're able to come on a bipartisan basis and send Time very strong I yield back. Thank you.